decisive battle of the war will be fought out on the battlefield of the Somme. It is to be made clear to all officers and men in the front line how much is at stake for the fatherland. The utmost attention and sacrificial action is to be paid to ensuring that the enemy does not gain any more ground. His assault must be smashed before the wall of German men. The sacrifice on the Somme. Don't you just love the Mortier milestone, guys? I know I do. I love I love Rick and Morty. I love 40 minute games. Every game, 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Every game. Every game, Rick. Every game. 40 minutes. Anyway, here we are on 40 minutes on Death Row. <laughs> and uh, this was played as part of the SDL monthly tournament for the month of August. And I'm a uh, hippie <laughs> playing as the 8th US... Infantry Division, the strongest division in the game right now. And I'm up against Medi, playing as Berlin Command, which is um, not the strongest division in the game right now. You don't really see Berlin Command a lot. Uh, they do have some advantages in, in their imp spam and their decent cheap fire support stuff. But uh, generally, you don't see them a lot because their anti is a bit crap. Uh, on small maps like this, they're really good. But uh, on bigger maps, not really. So you don't see people taking them into ranked. And yeah, we're on Death Row, which uh, I think is a fairly balanced map. I've not seen the win rate statistics on it. It's probably the most balanced map. I mean, you know, people tend to get to buildings at the same time. Like, red gets here when blue gets here. Red gets here when blue gets here. Um, you know, stuff like that. Red gets here when blue gets here. Red gets here when blue gets about here. <laughs> um... So, yeah, let's talk deployments. I'm expecting him to rush somewhere and do sneaky infiltration stuff because that's what Medi always does. He always does the same thing. If you leave one road unprotected, a car will come down there and snipe your CV and get in the back zone, put CV in there, something like that. So i got to have people on every road. So we got LRS here for the forward deployment because I assume that he would be rushing down here. Green berets. Does he get green berets? I can't remember. And we got the 8th is quite good at dealing with this sort of thing because you get the M150 for 40 points, tow 50 cal for 40 points, good optics, mediocre stealth, recon forward deployment for 40 points. It's a really good vehicle. And behind that, I've got uh, Fireteam 84 Engineers Flash all in M113s and the M113 A3 Dragon, which is an M113 with a, a Dragon short range ATGM on it. Uh, another ACAV going down this road in case he tries to come down this road. Another ACAV going down this road in case he tries to come down this road. Another ACAV going down this road in case he tries to come down this road. Another ACAV going down this road in case he tries to come down this road. That's how you have to play against Medi. And yeah, so we spoke about those. And then I opened two CVs because I'm expecting a slow, boring 40 minute grind game. So one CV there, one CV for the middle so I can get that early point advantage. Stinger for here in case he sends some helicopters to help with this push. Um. LRS here going to there, ACAV behind it, and spoke about the CV, then we've got two M60A3 TTSs, they're going to here, these are pretty good, they used to be like 80 points or 60 points or something, and now they're 100, uh, they are very good, and yeah, an M150 for the recon, that's all going to there, a supply there as well, and then three engineers dragon, these are your zombie unit. 40 points, 10 men, shock, short, medium range, ATGM, short range, ATGM, whatever you want to call it. And spoke about the ACAV, another M150 going to there in case he sends people down this road for toes or down here for, for you can send a the toe there as well. Engineer Dragon just to hold the ground. And yeah, we spoke about that ACAV. On the other side, got Medi playing Berlin Commander Division, you don't see a lot. They get a lot of infantry, a lot of infantry. Thing is, they don't get good air apart from the Nighthawk, which usually ends up dying. And they don't get good anti-air, like long-range anti-air. They get great short-range anti-air. So on maps like this, they're actually pretty good, because they get the minstrels and the pivads. The Tarask thing I don't really like. But um, but on bigger maps, they just can't cover the ground with their AA. So we've got a two-man sniper team going to here. These guys get an extra level of stealth, so uh, once you get into the build, it's very hard for the enemy to move you out without artillery. Like, you just can't see you most of the time. Fox coming down here. Um... Quite a few people on there. That's interesting. So this this AA piece he put in the wrong place and decided he wanted it in mid instead. Everything else is going down here. So he gets Engineer Dragon as well. He also gets... The, these are his sponge unit. 25 points, FR Polizei Reserve, 10 men, machine gun, uh, security. Uh, but they are reservists disheartened. So they're, they're basically like a better version of... Um, 
uh, of uh, of the British one. What's it called? HSF. They're basically just a better HSF, and for the same price. And then we got a wombat. Go into there, presumably with this Berlin light rifles, and the pivots behind that. So he's definitely attempting to attack up here instead of where I thought he was going to be attacking down there. Uh, these guys used to be called the A team. Now they're the the pissy B team. <laughs> So a big downgrade for them, but they're really, really good because, well, they were back when satchels were good. Um, but yeah, they get the submachine guns, which is good, the AT4, which is good. Satchels are crap now, but they're, they're all right, I guess. Probably better than a machine gun. Machine guns are also crap. So we got Sniper going to there. That's very optimistic. Oh, no, he was going to there. My bad. And then Scout's going to there. And then the B team going to there. Uh, behind that, a minstrel and a Milan two in the in the Milan two carrier. Supply going to mid. Sniper on the right going to here. Uh, B team going to here. So he's playing it defensively on this side instead of offensively. Berlin light rifles. So these are these are your one of the new unique units in Berlin com. I mean, so are these guys, but uh, but these are what people associate Berlin come with because they are Berlin light rifles and it's 10 men and they get this recoilless rifle which isn't what it once was but it's still pretty good can shoot at infantry or at vehicles it's got a really decent range 60 points the issue you have with it is usually it'll just fire them all at infantry and then a vehicle come along you can't do what you want to do and then three more zombie engineer dragons and a minstrel and a Tarasque and that's all going to here. So I already covered my deployment. He's also got a, a plane, which we'll see when the game starts. So let's cast the game, and we'll cast it from my perspective as usual. Right, so they're off, and everybody's going to where we said they were going to go. Um, yeah, the rest is going to there, etc, etc, etc. I'm going on holiday to Belgium for a week, so I've been casting these games, uh, a lot of these games in one day, and... Um, uh, there are no short games on this patch unless I resign, uh, which I've done a couple times. <laughs> so check out this fox, and remember to leave a funny comment in the in the comments section. I like reading your comments, that's what I get out of this. You're getting something out of this, I'd like to get something out of this. I'd like you to leave me a comment. So here we go, he bought this Jet Harrier Rocket 2 um, at the start of the game as well. So this thing is pretty good at killing infantry. It turns like a brick, but if you can line them up properly, there, there goes that LRS. Um, and he manages to capture my transport. And yeah, that's, you know, my ACAV wasn't in position. But yeah, these guys don't have AT. Neither does this. Uh, neither does this. So this misses its first shot, and then he drives it behind this so that the ACAV can't shoot it anymore. So that was a really good micro from Medi. Now he's bought two CVs. So this was... Well, this and this were his two CVs, basically. Like, he could have got two CVs instead of that. So he's doing a good job spotting targets. Um, he doesn't manage to get a full shot off on that ACAV just because of the trees in the way. You have to attack from a way that doesn't have the trees in the way, otherwise it just won't shoot. And this guy doesn't have AT, so we could just sort of drive past him shooting with the M113s. Eighth is good because of M113A3s and infantry spam. And our tanks have finally shown up. This guy is almost out of everything. Uh, it does get a few rockets off, but, you know, it's an armoured target, so I just leave him in the transports. No need to panic. If you unload it, he would kill the squad. And that scout over there died to a combination of this toe and this dragon. So he's got a Milan 2 over here, so we unload this. And... Oh, he, he moved it? Or it lost line of sight? I'm not sure which... And yeah, these have a 50 cal on them as well. But the dragon gets that too. He is pushing me here. CVs are coming in. But yeah, he's got no one over here. I didn't know about this or, or all this. That's a lot of guys. To be honest, one of these should be up here, really. Uh, maybe expecting me to rush down this road, which I have done a few times. That's the issue with having a YouTube channel. Anybody that wants to can just view all of my games and then, oh, this is how he plays. Uh, so I do like to change it up, but uh, that leads to me trying things that don't work. But you see the power of the, the M113s? Um, 
Obviously they're not very powerful, but they're better than nothing. And so as long as he sits here, we're just going to keep shooting him with everything. And obviously the, the dragons are getting like the dick have died there. But we're slowly whittling him down. This thing is using all its recoilless rifles on the... Uh, Moriarty on the on the infantry and it's only got 30% accuracy it does eventually get that so I decided to attack across here because I you know I was pretty sure there was nothing there and so I sent this guy forwards and all we saw was this these guys can shoot there and he buys another Harrier rocket so we smoke and then drive forwards into the smoke and he switches to hit that so he takes out our eyes so we can't really see so good anymore uh, we do have a 500 point lead and we see that there's a Tarask there And I know his CV's in there because of the way it, you know, when it came into the zone. So we're doing all right, uh, but once you get up to here, you know, you, <laughs> you're kind of exposed a bit. Um, so perhaps it would have been. Well, I don't know how I could have done it differently. Really, I, I should have had the, the pivots, I guess, before I started. If I'd waited longer, he would have had units here. So, you know, I'm not sure what I could have done differently there had a pivot at the start with them, or a stinger. Um, but yeah, we got two ASFs now, so I was floating a little bit so I could buy both those once. Lose one of the pivots to that on 2 team, which ain't great. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to get into the cover from that, and um, uh, we do actually get that Milan 2. Now he's got these AMX-30Bs. These have... Uh, heat guns, so the closer they are they still do the same damage. This guy wasted all his shots. Oh mate, I wasn't paying attention. Now he's going to die. Minstrel hit him. Pivot's going to hit him. Yeah, he's, he's had a bad time. So I sort of tried to cross over here but he's, his reinforcements arrived just in time. Um, you know, these bees can't stand up to tanks at close range because their gun is heat. They will always do the same damage. Um, and uh, whereas this, because it's kinetic, will do more damage as it gets closer. This can stand up to tanks at close range. It's designed for it. It's got more armor than a regular Abrams. But you know that costs the same as two of these. So I can't. I couldn't see him because I didn't have recon. Um, but yeah, I realized my guy died, so I gotta gotta get this guy out of here. Trying to get that pivads over to here, but he, he had a Milan 2 here and he had, he had some here, so it's kind of hard to get it up there. But we're managing. And yeah, with that Milan 2 team going down, it's just AA here now, so I'm just running everybody forwards. Say everybody, that's two units. Fortune favours the bold, as they say. Over here, we've been trying to do some attacking. Our engineers flash, flashed and uh, then run out of ammo and um, you really need other units with them. You do the flash and then and then you get them out, get the other units to do stuff. Almost there. I know the CV is over here because of the way the zone is, you know, I, I see the blue, see where the center of the blue is. Um, so I assumed it would be in this tree line here. So I'm just driving forwards to kill it. And I get it. Um... So then I keep attacking, but now I'm going to get side shot by this uh, AMX-30, and it's really going to mess me up. Uh, and then the, the auto cannons on these AMX-30s finish me off. He sends a Harrier HE, but I've got these two ASFs up. And yeah, we get those Gazelle rockets. We know about this Minstrel, but we're just going to come back around, because it's just one Minstrel, we'll be alright. It's going to take three hits to kill me, depending on where it hits me. You see the advantage of the M113 is like he's just not got short range AT here. This is out of ammo. Uh, this is out of position. He could have put that there and shot. Could have put the fox there to shoot this actually. He's not done that. See the Harrier AA is very slow. 687. Um, but this is 410. So I have to get this guy out of here. And I don't really have any AA of myself apart from the Stinger, but we bought an IHawk now to fix that problem. Do you see how the IHawk can basically shoot across the entire playable area of the map? <laughs> from that circle you see you see the edges of it. See so yeah, how the Harrier AA, um, basically Berlin comes ASF and it's crap, so that's one of the weaknesses of Berlin come. 
There you go, Fox finally moves up, gets that M113. These have dragons on them, so they can actually shoot back at that Fox. The 50 car doesn't have uh, AP in the Maltier Milestone. So yeah, we're on a cheeky plus three. Do you remember when I said I wasn't going to attack? Um, but if you just sit there on 100 points and then your enemy snipes your CV, then you're going to lose. So you sort of have to do a little bit of attacking. Um, but yeah, this is quite an overextended position. I need to reinforce it. It's very hard to do so because the may this road gets some shot by this. This road gets some shot by that. So you have to manually path them across this field and then you get shot at by both sides. So it's, it's kind of a hard position to reinforce. Once you take it, you need to go left or right, basically. But I don't have enough space to do either. So really, I should just get all these guys out of here. But instead, I've, I've left them there because I don't want to give up the ground. So he's quite rightly moved uh, infantry with AT in. Looks like he's brought Grenadier Voltigeurs instead of rifles, which I disagree with. Uh, over here, you know, he is pushing me pretty successfully. Harrier Rocket comes out, but I got the two Fighting Falcons, and we know that there's just one Minstrel over here from before with the A-10, so we can kill that. And then Evac, and we know that he doesn't have good ASFs. This guy's shooting my supply. These guys should all be back, really. I overextended a lot. <laughs> but that that's typical hippie. If I wanted to win... Uh, the, the, uh, well, I want to win. Obviously, I want to win. The best way to win would have been to kill that CV and then just move everybody back again. <laughs> I'm not joking. Sadly, that is the matter. So I moved this guy in to kill this engineer's dragon. I didn't know about this Grenadier Vortigeurs behind, and now it's too late for him to do anything. He's just going to die. Um, but yeah, we've managed to get in on this side, and the CV's coming in behind. But I don't really have enough infantry here either. He's got a lot of infantry. So now I'm trying to just reinforce this a little bit, and I move this. I wanted to move this IHOC to here, and so he takes this cool road. I should have manually told him not to. Now we got the A10 in again, because we know there's not much AA over here. Here comes the Harrier, though. I got the Pivads in the IHOC for that. This guy's in a really bad space, and he's just going to die. <laughs> but yeah, the Thunderbolt will beat the Harrier in a 1v1. Um, particularly a, a 3v1 with the Pivads and the IHOC helping. Um, but yeah, that uh, that Minstrel does actually hit us, and so now we're on 2 HP. This is faster than us. We do get the CV in. IHOC hits, but that's that's a fire and forget missile, but regardless, the Minstrel got two shots off and he got him. So that was a bit too aggressive from me, uh, but I am on a plus four. Thing is, my right side sort of collapsed, but all I need to do is just put some infantry in and then that slows everything right down because we're on the Maltier milestone where everything is very slow. So engineers flash are great, but there's no uh, there's no AT option in here. There's no AT option. Not sure what this guy's doing. Eating minstrels, I guess. And we lost that pivads there to this tank, presumably. So this infantry is moving up now. See, he knows I've overextended. He knows I don't have a lot there. And this guy's just like, you know, he's just dead. It doesn't matter where I send him. <laughs> Harry Rocket coming for that engineer flash, but I think he lost a visual because his unit died or something. And that Berlin Light Rifle is just trying to kill this, but it needs two hits to kill, and it's got 30% accuracy, so it basically takes its entire rounds to, to kill it. Uh, that time, I think it it didn't even do that. So we moved an M1 up to here, because that could shoot there. Because of this dip here, if he wants to advance further, he has to sort of like come over here, and then everybody hits him at once. Like This M67 would be able to hit that, that's why he's in there. Finally get a Fireteam 84 here as well, so his, his push is very much stalled out here. Over here, I'm going strong on this plus four. Um, but yeah, I've run out of it. All my flash here died eventually to probably this VAB um, and these these light rifles. You still got some. Well, I don't think I've killed any gazelle rockets yet. So these gazelle rockets can be really useful. I bought three stingers, but they're they're not in the right place. I need one over here, really. Um, there we go. So he's forced to get that back. That toe doesn't get a chance to hit that AMX-30. 
I know he's coming across here, so I moved the CV out. I lost the IHawk to this infantry and this tank. But I had a CV held in here because I, I know how Medi likes to play. He likes to drop CVs in your back zones, etc. Any road you're not on, he'll send a guy down. Look, he's coming down here now. And so that's why I uh, I had two CVs. I had one in the zone and one in here for when for when he sent something around my back line. So these stingers need to get out of there, really. Um, over here, not going so well. Anybody I sent forward just gets smacked. Like you see that if I get in, then this light rifles can shoot me there as well. There's not many toes here, though. That's a shame. I thought I'd send this up this hill. I guess it's for the best that I didn't. You see the M67 range? Really not bad. Like, it's been shooting this pit ads. Doesn't look like it's going to get it. And he finally gets the CV into here, so the tick goes down to a plus two. And he's just got loads of infantry in here, so I, st I start moving everybody out. Whoever's left, I mean these two I think I'm pretty sure I just leave there. Uh, but <laughs> I start moving these guys out. So, the stinger, two stinger shots, two stinger hits, because I'm so good at this game. And I assume that he hadn't moved up his AA um, with this little push here. But he does have a minstrel back here. Um, but I don't think it can see me. Yeah, here we go, he's moving it forwards now. Because of this, because of this hill, this hill. But now that he comes over the hill, takes a minstrel shot. Minstrel's very good, and he buys three mortars now. So I moved that back, but I had a scout come in for it, and I forgot to move this back. <laughs> so that wasn't very smart. Up here, I'm trying to. Um, so you know that the laws. He was on low cohesion before, so he's not doing much. And unloading this there is a bit silly. I should unload it before the hill. As you can see, you'll get a free shot off on me. He is low cohesion, so he does miss. But that puts this on low cohesion, which means that these guys come out on mediocre cohesion. And that didn't have to happen. Now, because I overextended here, he's now just walking across this field towards me. I don't know how much that can stop him. So I'm buying lots of stuff to try and stop him. But as you know, M113s are quite slow. So we get two rangers in Blackhawks to these buildings just to hold the line a bit. Because I know he's going to fast move a CV down here. Um, basically, whenever I'm playing against Medi, I just think, what's the most gross thing that I could do? And that's usually what he does. Um, <laughs> I don't fault him for it, I do the same thing. But uh, it's like, like sees like, so I, um, I usually know what he's going to do. So as soon as I pulled these guys back, I knew, oh shit, I'm going to get full send down here. Uh, so I move this CV round to here to get in through the back, because I know that his CV is going to be in my zone. Uh, over here I lost my guy here, so I need another one here really. And I put a dragon here because I assumed that he would try and send somebody down this road into this zone. Especially now that I don't have the CV there, because I had to move one into here, one into here. These AMX 30Bs have better auto cannons than everybody else because France, um, but you know, two times zero is still zero. And these Blackhawks don't auto sell, even if they've got auto sell on. So you've got to manually attack move them. But we lose that one to the Harrier. And then the Harrier 1v1s the Thunderbolt AT. And the Harrier fucking wins somehow. I'm not sure how. Um, <laughs> but uh, it is what it is. Like, I've got the armor and everything, but, you know, what can you do? So I just leave this here to just shoot. I mean, it's got guns. They don't really do anything, but it's better than nothing. And this also tells me that there's not much AA here, which is why I brought that Thunderbolt. The fact that this guy wasn't getting blown up let me know that there wasn't much AA there. Um, so, yeah, the dragons here are trying to shoot the guys coming across, but the AMX-30Bs, there's too many of them. Bombs my mech rifles long, gets them. But I have the F-16s, um, so he keeps he keeps flying flying over my F-16s. Um, but we got quite lucky there, two shots, two hits on a 50% accuracy missile. So yeah, he would have made it out of there otherwise. Well, I don't know actually, because I'm faster than him, so I might have been able to close the ground and shoot with the short range missiles and then the guns. Um, but yeah, AA combat and A combat is very... Very RNG focused. This guy's finally come into a league of his own. He's hit this Abrams a couple times. Um, and he gets another hit, but it's not going to kill it. It's got lots of armor. And here we go with the mortars now. He thinks that the CV's in there. 
it was, so I moved it. <laughs> this guy's coming across here, um, showing his side armor to all these dragons, so they do hit him. And we're trying to get laws in these buildings, because once we get laws into these buildings, we can cover this, and we know that's where he's going. Instead of smoking this up, he's uh, AT and all, uh, HE and all this. So we get this guy into this building, and now he can shoot there. And that's another side shot. And then we kill him. And we also had this LGB bomber in case that didn't work. So we're still pl well, we're plus four again because this CV is in here. <laughs> there you go. See, so he missed the missile long range missiles that time, but he got the short range missiles and then the gun. So that answers that question from before. So the three mortars are now hitting this. I need more artillery, really, but I feel like I've never been given an opportunity to buy it because the game's been so frantic. Um, this man is uh, engine destroyed, so he can't move now. And, um, yeah, he's just slowly pushing me out, these AMX 30Bs. I need a real tank, and here one comes. M1A1 will make short work of these. Uh, unless it's a 4v1, in which case, no, it won't. And now he's running these 50 cars across this field, so I recognise that I need to get people into these buildings here. Uh, which is sort of what this guy was all about. Should have moved this guy back, really. Um, but I'm just conscious of the fact that he can get in here, because these guys are 1 HP. Here we go, I buy a howitzer to get those mortars. And this thing can still shoot that dragon there. I'm that ACOV. Damn. This guy, I get this guy dead to rights, rear shot, bam. Doesn't kill it though. <laughs> and now I am very dead. And then he, sh instead of shooting this, he tries to shoot that. That's so weird. I so, yeah, I'm not sure about the targeting AI sometimes. Could have killed this. I mean, it, it was a miss anyway, but I think it prioritizes suppressing enemies over killing them. So he saw that this guy was low suppression and he moved. This guy smokes the wrong way, so the Cobra's going to finish him off. Um, we know that there's AA back here, but I know that I can survive one minstrel shot, so I'm just chancing it. <laughs> and we're trying to get this M1A1 to shoot these tanks. Uh, and as you can see, is there two there? That was weird. So like two, two rounds. But yeah, without recon, it's kind of hard. And you see we're getting many versus ones. But all these guys are missing because they're all low cohesion and everything. we got the Cobra helping out. Um, so he's forced to smoke him back. Harriet AA coming for... I don't know. But yeah, you see he bought two CVs. One for this zone, one for that zone. So I actually moved this out. Um, after it capped that zone. So I'm on a plus two with 20 minutes left. Uh, but that's about to go to a plus nothing. And we get that Lodgy that's coming to resupply this. And we should beat this because it's low HP, even though he is the up armored variant. So, somehow he's got his smoke back. I guess that Lodgy gave him the smoke back. And we're sending this guy all the way around there to try and shoot this, but he doesn't actually have any AT, which I didn't realize at the time. And he's now got in my zone here, and then here comes the smoke, which is why I was trying to kill those mortars before, because I, I knew this would happen. Um, like I said, I just have to think, what would I do? What's the most disgusting thing I could do? And then uh, both of us will proceed to do that. Well, we've managed to push him back here. I mean, he's got this MIP, M1IP Abrams. I call it a MEEP, 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 like Roadrunner. And yeah, he's just going to keep smoking that. Oh, okay, he's decided to HE that instead. Um, I'm not using my howitzer very effectively. I've just left it on counter battery. So here we go. Bam! Against these two-man foot mortars, um, counter battery on big howitzers works very well. Uh, against uh, uh, against self-propelled mortars, you need two and corrected shot, otherwise he's just going to move. So, trying to get into this smoke, because we know what's going on, and I've got these tanks, and I know that a lot of his tanks have died. I've got this infantry here to make sure I don't get side shot, but it seems the real reason I'm not getting side shot is because uh, of that house there, it seems. And I send this back into that zone, putting me at a plus one, I think. Oh no, hang on, it's just evening it out because he's actually got the guy in my zone. But yeah, these uh, engineers' light rifles, even if they miss, they're dealing the suppression. Um, and the commandos, suppers, actually, because there's a gap in the smoke here, these two are also shooting these mech rifles, so they get out. 
Kai cluster coming for that Abrams, which has already been damaged. Um, it doesn't manage to kill it because Harrier clusters don't kill stuff anymore. Send the diversity bomber in for the sappers. Uh, we get that Harrier cluster with the two fighting falcons. Diversity bomber misses. The splash on those missiles is very odd. Um, but we get four missiles, so we fire again, and that one hits, and we clean him out. This guy over here, I sent a supply with him, and it turns out that the guys can cap the supply, even if the CV is next to it. So that's not great. Um, so I'm on a plus two. I'm trying to close out the game. I don't want a 40 minute game. Um, but you see how much blue there is on the map now? I'm getting uh, messed up in my KD because I'm playing aggressively. I should have just sat here like a lemon. But I wanted to have fun. Uh, my mistake. What happened again? So, <laughs> sent some more guys up here and a supply. Uh, although I should have sent two supply, really, you know, for this Mech Rifle's law. This guy's still shooting. Um, he's only got two HP left, but this Engineer's Dragon, I think, is taking off one HP every time. It looks like he's out of ammo. Hoist has changed to shooting him anyway. And this Toes going... Did I never kill this? Or is it a different one? Well, regardless, this guy should have been slightly forwards helping out. And this uh, this Toe Cobra, I just can't get anywhere near that. Because of this Tarasque. Here comes the Harriet AA for the Toe Cobra. And if you recall, my Eyehawk died. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to move up here, do something here. He's trying to move down here. I think, yeah, I'm trying to get guys in these buildings to stop him from getting through here. Um, I've got this back here in case he tries to get through here. you got to do that. If you're playing against Medi, you got to cover every single road with a, a unit that has AT capability, otherwise he'll get through you. This guy did get to the P4 PC, and then I realized that he didn't have any laws. So that's a real shame, actually, because if I'd done that properly, that would have worked. But now he's, you know, he's out of out of touch, out of luck, whatever. I should have moved him back here, really. But I was trying to look at that PC. This Tokobra did not get killed by that Harrier. I guess he was scared that I had AA back here, even though I actually don't. Oh, well, I have the F-16s, right? So, yeah, he sends the PC over to there. Uh, he's still trying to shoot my CV with the mortars. I send this to go kill that PC, but he's got a minstrel here, and that's going to hit. That's the Taras going to hit. The Harry's going to hit. So that's a shame, really. Um, I know where the CV is. I just can't do anything about it. He's just driving it around the open. This little car. So that's a shame. I should have made sure that this guy had AT, and or maybe sent two guys. That would have been helpful. And then I dive for that Harrier AA because I just sort of forget about this guy. And then one, two minstrel shots. There you go. 30% ECM doesn't matter against the minstrel with its 65% accuracy. Made in France. Vive la France. So the fight continues. Uh, he just seems to have this never-ending torrent of shit. Uh, but I'm not so bad myself. I've got, I've got plenty of rubbish to chuck at him. Uh, I, what I'm most surprised about is, is his air. Like, I feel like I, at this point in the game, I was like, I've shot down so many planes. How does he still have planes? Um, but I think because the Harriers come at three per card, if you get four cards of them. So you had the Rocket one, the Cluster one, the HE one, and the AA one. So that's 12 planes. So I was trying to just spot that car, but he's just driving it around. It's my own fault. Should have made sure this guy had AT. And then when he missed, I could have said, see, unfair, but, but as it stands right now, it's my fault. Uh, I think he knew about this tank here. Um, sadly, uh, I don't move the supplies, uh, but thankfully he misses. Oh no, d does he? That one looks like it's going to hit. Oh no, he missed. Oh no, 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 will it happen? Oh, he missed again. Uh, <laughs> And, yeah, I'm not really using my RT enough. I need to use it constantly. So there was a guy in here. That was this, but he's moved it. This guy's got no ammo anyway. Try and get him to here so that he can see that P4 PC. But he knows all about it. You know, he's coming over to kill it because he can see it with this anyway. But that has bought me time to sort this out. Although I, I saw that he was sending units down this road with these units here. I, this unit. Saw units coming down this road. So that's why I've got the Cobra there and the Dragon, and I'm reverting the Abrams there, because I figured he would come down here, and I'm sending the ACAV. Although that's quite a quite a send. Quite a send. And I buy another CV for mid, because I realise that he's only way back into this game at this point, in my own personal opinion, 
is uh, is to snipe my CVs, which is why he keeps trying to do it. So here we go, two more Harriers. Oh no, it's, it's a new park and a Harrier. Um, the new park, really cool unit. The issue it has is that it has 0% ECM. So as soon as you spot it, you can kill it. And the Harriers don't one-shot these. Um, but yeah, I think he's lost visual on my tank anyway. Even though this line will still tell him where it is, he won't be able to drop his bomb on it accurately. So he sticks around, and I know about this because this guy's tracers were coming at him from this building. Like, I can't see this, but I know about it. This guy's doing alright, killing those TRMs. He's out of flam range as well. Flam range was nerfed to 350 units on the proper flamethrowers. And yeah, we're pushing here again, which shouldn't really be doing. Should just be playing for KD, but I'm so close to closing the game out, and I just don't want the game to take 20 minutes. Um, but we know he's building up something here, so that's why we've got this stuff back here. I buy three mortars because I realised the trash infantry fight that it is. I should have bought this artillery much earlier, but I was too focused on attacking. Here comes the Nighthawk. Um, it does hit, but it does not kill the M1A1. So, yeah, I figured this would be happening. Get those French AT to here, and then you can't reinforce this properly, so that's why this guy's taking this convoluted route. It's all what we bought the scouts for. Um, but yeah, these scouts died to something. The AK finished off whatever was killing him. New park, not sure it hit anything. This guy can now flam. He's got low cohesion, but he can flam. And I'm doing a bad job resupplying my units, but I'm attacking down here again, and he sort of ran into the same problem as before. He doesn't have any AT. This has run out. He buys a CEV, which is an interesting decision. Uh, they're good against infantry, but you might as well for the same price just buy a tank. So presumably he's run out of AMX 30Bs. Because um, watch it, it will stun this. Bam! It routes it. Um, so that it can be very useful for that. So there you go, he went for the cluster again. On the tank, again. I howitzered this and it lost 1 HP. <laughs> and we don't get that. So yeah, I've been trading quite poorly due to my aggressive nature, and now you see how much blue there is on the map compared to how much red there is on the map. I'm so close to closing this game out, but uh, that's how they get you, you see. Um, you shouldn't get baited by your opponent. You should instead just accept the fact that he's going to play a 40-minute cockroach game, and you should do the same, um, because it is the cockroach meta. So he starts buying artillery of his own in addition to these mortars, and he's just trying to hit the CV. He doesn't know exactly where it is, but he knows it's in there somewhere. So that's presumably what the heights are for as well. This is why I bought two CVs in case he snipes it, and that he just gets you know ticks from that. I know there's guys in here, um, and you see that I've got a guy in this road, and you see he's trying to send that down there. Um, like I said, I know how this guy plays because he plays like I how I play. <laughs> he told me he had honor once. I thought that was really funny, actually. Um, <laughs> I thought that was really funny. I should have screenshot it, but I, I didn't. Um, neither of us have honor. Uh, we are not honorable players. Uh, this is a rodent game, if there ever was one. So, more guys walking across fields. He sent these guys up in pairs in case a minstrel hits them. Um, and then I just sort of forgot about them. I should have brought them back. Um, this was really stupid. So he's going to die, and now he's going to die. I do get back in here on this plus two, just trying to close this game out. I don't want to be in this game. Uh, but yeah, I lost those two Cobras there for nothing, really. Um, if I stopped being so aggressive and bought some Ihawks, I could just sit here and win. But uh, I've got honor, smiley face. Uh, we lose that scout, too. And we've just got no AA. There's no AA anywhere on the map, so I start buying some Pivads. Because we literally have no AA. We've been focusing on the F-16s, but they get damaged, and then they're not available. But... Yeah, 2 minutes 55 till I can get out of this game. I'm mortaring all this crap. Um, that's 3 uh, 107mm mortars, which do more than the... Is that going for these? No, it's not. It's going for the mech rifles law. I guess he wanted to use the guns on it. New park back again. He sees the CV. Oh, yeah, he's, he's lost vision on it, but he saw it when it was here, so he's trying to snipe the CV. As I foretold, as I foretold, he would try to snipe the CV. 
over here, his CV's sort of on the front lines a bit, but he's got a backup CV here, so... <laughs> he's got another CV here, but uh, that drives past the mech rifles long, it's smacked. Um, yeah, this guy always brings about nine CVs, so that he can do this all game. Um, will we hit this man? I lost two M1A ones while watching this fight. Will we hit this man? I'm sure I won't lose any more M1A ones. Will we hit this man? Each one of them looks like he's gonna. Oh, there we go. We hit him. He's got a backup anyway. Uh, so over here, I lost two CV, uh, two M1A1 tanks, and a regular. Uh, Abrams tank there and a regular Abrams tank here so in my my lust to finish this game in 1 minute 25 but sadly he's made it in and so I have to get this guy out or he's going to die um, if only these three infantry had been over here but no I'm cursed to play this game for another 5 minutes and 50 seconds and th there you go see so he's still trying to get the CV um, the car CV that was here is I drove it out because I wanted to drive it back into here because uh, I've taken this back now and that reduces his snipey potential. Over here we just got infantry in the open versus infantry in the open. The fire support dies so this is going to take a while. And remember I lost those cobras to just my own, like I just lost two cobras to just nothing, that was so silly of me. So you see that nothing's happening over here. <laughs> He's still trying to get that CV. Harriet AA coming in. Ah, I got the pivots now. Uh, so two pivots do some damage. Do quite a bit of damage. Do like the pivots. I think it's very powerful. New pork back again. That's going for this guy. That's the issue with pushing without the AA. He's going to come and kill you. So I buy a bunch of ACAVs here because I from the way the zone line works I'm pretty sure the CV is over here instead of over here um, but yeah we lose that mech rifles for free basically but then he doesn't evac he just kind of sticks around starts flying over all the pivots um, and now he evacs but all the pivots are on him three pivots on him and there he goes so he could have saved that really um, but yeah in these long games you know 36 minutes of intensely paying attention and he thinks the CV's back here somewhere, so he's going for that. He might be going for the pivots. The engineer guy's getting hit by the howitzers, so they've just been bombing this area constantly. But yeah, this guy's bombing nothing basically, because the pivots moved. And um, yeah, between the pivots, they managed to get him. I attack because there's four minutes left. And I'm pretty sure the CV's over here, that's what those ACAVs are for, that's what these rangers are for, that's what these guys are for. But I don't have any recon, cause, well the recon's back here. Um, and I'm attacking down here as well, I just want to get out of this game man, it's such a boring game. Um, let me know what you think of this matter, do you think this matter's good? Most of you think it's bad, and then some of you are wrong basically. Uh, <laughs> you are of course entitled to your incorrect opinion. So, we got these guys moving down here, and they've got 50% stabilizer, so this is really not good for me. Like, I lost too many tanks here before when I was paying attention to this. Uh, my KD is pretty bad. And this guy, you know, I back with him, but he's got three tanks bearing down on him. Um, and they will get him. So, yeah, in my haste, I have fed slots. Look at all the red on the map. Oh, it's disgusting. It's disgusting. He's trying to counter battery these mortars, so you see it just doesn't do anything. You need a lot of rounds to do anything. He's trying to get to the CV. Um, we got another one here. And yeah, here we go. We're getting in here. Woo, we smoked up beforehand. But yeah, he's just got too many too many A, a pieces for this heli stuff to work. Um, trying to find that CV. But yeah, these minstrels just don't miss. 60% accuracy. And these chieftains now, you know, I've just lost all my guys because I sent them forwards. So there it is, it's over there now. 2 minutes 16, get me out of this game. But these guys don't have short range AT, they've just got the dragon. So they can't do anything. 
He slowly advanced into my CV here. Oh, this could make for a good CV snipe shot. Check out this seat. Do you see how he's expertly sniped me here with this uh, with this Chieftain Mark 10? This is a CV snipe because he threaded the needle with this Chieftain Mark 10. Um, <laughs> it's definitely not a full send. It's a snipe. It's a snipe, okay? It's a snipe. Man, my CV got sniped. This is why you always put two in the zone when you're against Medi. Um, and now he's driving this over here. We're trying to get him. We're trying to get him. We're trying to get him. But with this guy, we do actually see this. So we buy two diversity bombers. One for that, one for this. But we can't see this guy anymore because he was fast pathed. And these, these tanks are just killing all the ACAVs and stuff. Um, so yeah, sad times. But we do get in here. One minute, so I can win the game uh, two seconds before it ends, <laughs> unless he kills me. <laughs> oh, it's going to, it's, whoa, I can win it in 30 seconds. And then he surrenders because he realizes uh, it's over. So yeah, really rubbish patch. As you can see, his KD was way better, um, but that's because I kept trying to close out the game. I'm rank 9, Medi's gone down a lot, he's rank 67 now. We used to have a similar number of games, about 700, but I have since sweated it out more than him, and I'm now at uh, 800. Um, so so I have 100 more games than him. Uh, 927, Oh, okay, I have a lot more, 100 more games than him, if you include non-ranked games. So yeah, uh, Berlin com not not the best really. Uh, on this map, it can work. It can work really well. Uh, but uh, eighth man, eighth is the best division in the game right now. It is the best division in the game in the Mortier milestone. Um, yeah, what can I say? GG, allegedly. <laughs>